but let's begin in Cleveland, okay? We talked about Deshaun, and he spoke today. We saw the Browns make it to the playoffs last season without Deshaun Watson. He had the season-ending shoulder surgery, but it speaks to the talent of the surrounding pieces on that team that they were able to make it so far without him. Deshaun making his way back now. Here's his head coach, Kevin Stefanski, and Watson on his return plan. We'll make sure that we uh, are smart about Deshaun's rehab and, and focus on, on getting him ready for the season. And, and when he's ready to uh, contribute in practice, he will, he'll be out there uh, based on what the medical staff tells us. Now, having said that, we're putting the system together. We're full speed ahead and, and in these meeting rooms. And when we get out on that practice field, we're constantly trying to get better as an offense. Uh, but we're not going to speed Deshaun up uh, it just to get the offense sped up. The plan is to, you know, come back whenever they, they feel like, and I feel like we're on the same page that we're ready. So there's not a timeline or a date that we have that, you know, this is when I'm going to be 100%. You know, it's just kind of, you know, how the process, it can be sooner than later, it can be later than soon, you know. So um, I think it's just really depending on how each landmark we hit and how fast we can get it and how my shoulder is reacting. Deshaun Watson has taken home $92 million in cash over the last two seasons. Second most in the NFL, trailing only Lamar Jackson, who, of course, won the MVP last season. However, Watson's production so far hasn't matched the price for the Browns. Since joining Cleveland, Watson has posted a QBR of 42, which ranks 38th out of 45 quarterbacks. We start with Jeff here. What more can you tell us, Jeff, about Cleveland's expectations for Watson heading into next season? Well, Laura, the plan is to have him ready for week one. Yes, they made that very clear. But the plan is also to have him ready for the postseason. They want to make sure that Deshaun Watson stays healthy for the entire year. General Manager Andrew Berry made very clear that if there's one thing they still feel like they need to see out of Watson since he became the franchise quarterback is more playing time. Berry said that he believes that Watson would absolutely agree with that. They need him available more often, something that obviously his shoulder injury curtailed this last year. I would say that he is very limited when it comes to the offseason activities that he will endure. His coaching staff made that clear. But again, the eye is on week one, yes, but the eye is also on making sure that he stays healthy for the entirety of the season. Yeah, I mean, Marcus, that's why they brought him in. That's why they paid him all that money to make it to the postseason and then have longevity within the postseason. How much faith do you have mm -hmm. in Watson being healthy and being able to win games for the Browns next year? Not much faith at all. Look, since this trade, this has been an abject failure. When you talk about $230 million guaranteed and some of, the, some of the things obviously out of Deshaun Watson's control, but availability is a huge part of the compensation and being there and, and continuing to get better. And he ain't like the world on fire when he was playing. He had some good moments, but the consistency of all of the time off and then trying to come back and get your feet wet, going through these injuries. This could go down as the worst trade in NFL history when you start thinking about him maybe not even playing enough for us to know if hmm. this actually worked out. And it's, 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 it's devastating for the Cleveland Browns because this team is really, really good. This defense was number one in the league last year. They made the playoffs with Joe Flacco. Now imagine if Deshaun Watson was to get back to a semblance of what he was when he was with the Houston Texans, coupled with the things that surrounded him on this team, Amari Cooper offensively. Nick Chubb obviously suffered an injury, but if he came back healthy, as of right now, today, when it comes to the Cleveland Browns in this trade, it's an abject failure. Um, and, and they are hopefully can get it corrected by his availability and his performance to what $230 million guaranteed uh, should look like. Well, guys, uh, the, the problem with Deshaun Watson is if they decided to say they decided to move on from him, if he hasn't played enough uh, and they want to go in a different direction, if they cut him next year, he's going to have a hundred and thirty seven million dollar dead cap hit mm. against the Brown salary cap. Uh, just for comparison, eighty five million is what the Broncos took on for Russell Wilson. So I'll, I'll just make this statement because it's the truth. With the way the Browns roster is set up, if Deshaun Watson plays like the $230 million quarterback they paid him to be, this team wins the Super Bowl hmm. easily. 
You got Nick Chubb at running back. You got Jerry Judy, Amari Cooper, uh, Elijah Moore, David Njoku, an offensive line led by Joel Petonio. I mean, guys, what more could you ask for? And that's only on the offensive side of the ball. Yeah. Defensively, number one defense in the league, they're certainly top five in most categories. They just need Deshaun Watson to show up and play to his contract. If that happens, hey, the Brownies will be very happy. Yeah, I, I will say this, guys. He didn't play up to that $230 million contract necessarily last season, but the Browns were 5-1 and one with Watson as their starter last year. The problem is it's a smaller sample size to everyone's point here. He's got to stay healthy and be on the field.